Today I wanted to show you a little bit couple tools that we use here or massage therapists around the world use it and it's uh, helpful for to give let's say better pressure um, not relieve or, and also save you know therapist hands in return so for example here we have cupping we have CBD oil we have facial cupping, um, grass tan, gusha, then we have bamboo here as well, sticks like that. There's many tools that can be used and I'm going to show you some today. For example, this one is a tea bar and you can use it to relieve knots and um, and find trigger points without hurting your thumbs too much and it requires you to apply less pressure physically but it feels deep to the uh, client so this is great too it can also be used like this as well it can be created with it so this is one of the favorite tools of massage therapist here and here already we found an knot right here and you can also diagnose with your hands use it with your hands but then you can add this as an extra nice deep tissue myofascial release tool so that's one of the tools the other tool is gusha which you can do scraping with and create petechiae like the redness so the blood flow comes up to the surface of the skin and that helps healing, recovery <clears throat> and also helps to get rid of the knots and you can use different edges of it, the concave edge and it will be different intensity, you can play around with it and see how it feels, which one you like better let's say this one will be more intense this will be less intense if you let's say do scraping like that but in general it's gentle it doesn't feel harsh for a client it feels really nice uh, and it can be done everywhere on the body for the most part even facial gusha the other tool is grass and tools which we have different kinds but I'm gonna use this one today and there's a nice like J stroke here it's kind of similar to like gusha but it's more targeted to relieve the separate tension knots and um, it can be pretty intense physical therapists use this chiropractors use this there is special um, class that uh, specialists attend to learn this um, let's say this is also Graston tool DT10 can do fanning with this one there's different techniques but it's really great for recovery after injuries scar tissue relief and great for client great for therapist also saving hands um, then the other tool is thumb saver you know kind of similar in a way to the tea bar and then there is this green tool which actually we have in a different room but I don't have it here with me now but <clears throat> these plastic tools they feel nice they feel intense but they feel nice it's also similar to like for trigger points and it saves your thumbs so very great tool we have here now it can be done anywhere so definitely worth a purchase if you're a massage therapist to have this one um, and the other tools like warm, warm bamboo you can warm this up warm bamboo tools this feel will feel much smoother and gentler on the skin more relaxing more like Swedish massage but it can be done throughout a full body, kind of like hot stone massage, but it also can save your hands. So we have um, hot stones over here, which are not particularly hot right now, but 
um, I'm going to um, to show you how it can, or it can be gold stone too in the summertime. But stones can be used as tools as well. Right here, um, you know, and it can be nice to cool off the area or warm up the area or save your hands as well. Really nice. Uh, though there is just one of the other many tools for massage therapists. The other great tool is CBD. It's not really a tool, but it's an additional pain relief. This one specifically has menthol, comfort, and arnica as well. It has a nice scent, so we use oils to help with pain relief and relaxation. Then there is silicone cupping. And we do this. Uh, myofascial work can be done with these specific cups. Really nice. And um, there's different sizes of them, as you can see. Uh, there's uh, facial cups, like smaller, like this one. Oops. There we have, um, where you could do, you know, on the face here, if someone has TMJ. You could also do on the bag, but there's a little too small for the bag. We want bigger ones, you know, something like this. But these are mostly more like maybe chest and face with the little pumps. Then we have fire cupping. Nice tool, which is my favorite. It's the cupping. I like um, fire cupping because it really creates a nice suction and it feels um, pretty, and it feels kind of gentle on the skin because of the glass having smooth surface versus this one is more like Maya Fascio because it's more scratchy. The same with these, which we have the air gun cups. Let me show you these. Um, it's more scratchy to move it around. The same like, let's say this one, which you can move around. But this one is gonna move the smoothest. It's gonna be the most smooth to move around. Um, but these are cool too. Michael Phelps therapist actually uses these. <laughs> but they're good if you want to leave them around for like five minutes. Um, you know, and there's different sizes of them too. See this one up here. So um, we can uh, do these on different body parts as well. But mostly, you know, people have the most knots on their back. So we. Uh, can do massage with cups and feels. And uh, by the way, Nicholas, our today's client, he turns red really quick. Um, other people don't turn red so quick. But so we kind of judge by, you know, how quick the person turns red and then we remove the cups. But um, there's no really concern here because it's just like the blood flow going up and um, you know, pulling the nutrients and uh, oxygen to the surface. Um, and then we have some other tools, you know, we have hot steamed hot towels that we put, we have, um, you know, then we have scrub and different things like that. But uh, these are kind of the main tools that can save their hands, but also help give better massage. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm also on Instagram at your leader brilliant and you can book appointment with brilliant massage and skin at yourleaderbrilliant.com if you're in Burlington, Vermont. We all also have memberships here and um, see some other videos. We have some other videos. By the way, one more tool I forgot to talk about is the feet. I also do Ashiatsu massage. Some therapists do that, some don't, but it's also a great tool but maybe I'll make another video about that, about Ashiatsu massage. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a brilliant day. Bye.